So, let's test this out and see if everything's working. So mind you, we haven't done anything to the previous link, it's just the next link. So we'll just refresh, click on next, so it is working. Okay, what did we do wrong? All right. Basically, it seems like the link has gone, the carousel has gone to the end of the images list and doesn't know what to do next. So when it reaches the end of the list, we want it to go back to the first one. Mind you, this next active image, when it reaches the last image in the list of images, it has no other image to give next, so it gives an empty um, object. So what we want to do is, if this, if next active image dot length is equal to zero, we say next active image equals to the first image. So how do you select the first image? We go back to the carousel container, in a container, list of images. Sorry. List of images dot first. What first does is whatever list this selector here gives you, first just selects the first in there. So when we do a select carousel inner images what that gives us is this whole list over here and doing a first on this whole list gives you the first here first element and likewise doing a last as you'll see in a moment we're going to use to go you um when we're implementing the previous link we'll give you the last image in the list of images okay so when we reach the last image and we do a next, we want to be taken back to the first image. So let's see if that works. So we refresh, do a next, 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 and then next. So we're taken to the first one. So remember, we had five images. So this is the first image. When we reach the last one, we want to be taken back to this first one. So we're on first image, second image, third image, fourth image, fifth image. Remember the last time when we clicked on this without being taken to the first one, it was just a blank page. But now when we click this, it will take us to the first page, as you can see. Just to show you what happened here, I'll just comment this out, and then refresh the page again. When we reach the last one, because we didn't tell it to take us back to the first one, we'll just be given an empty page. So we're on the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth image. So now clicking on this one, we won't be taken back to the first one because the logic to do that has been commented out. So clicking on this will give you empty page. So let's uncomment that out because we don't want it to do that. That's not right. We want to be taken back to the first one. So, okay, so now let's implement the pr um, previous link so we'll target that we called it previous previous link dot on click so on clicking the previous link we'll do something similar to what we did for the next link but sort of like the opposite instead of being taken forward we'll be taking backwards so we'll say var current active image equals to likewise image shown and var next active image equals to you guessed it right instead of next is previous okay so same as we did here when we add the last Im first image and we click on previous we want to be taken back to the last image Do, if you remember correctly clicking on next on the last image here takes you to the first one so clicking on previous on the first image should also take you to the last image so we do going to do a check here saying if there's nothing else to show 
when we are on the first image after clicking previous set the next active image as the last one so if next dot length equals to zero set next active image equals to let's target let's copy this let's get the list of images and then get the last one using the jQuery's built-in last function so we set the next active image to the last one if we are at the first image in the list so the current active image we're going to remove its image shown class as we did over here we're making it hidden so image shown we remove the class and then add a class of image hidden and then set the z index to z index to minus 10 if you don't understand what z index means just go on a google and search css z index there's tons of resources that will tell you what that does i mean it's a bit out of the um, scope of this um, series but if required i'll do a simple um, snippet just to show you what z index actually does so if you need that just um, write me a comment on youtube and then i'll um, take you through that briefly okay so the next active image we're going to add a class of image shown and then remove its class of image hidden and then set its z index to 20 as we did in the other um, function at the top so we're going to select all the images that are not these two Im these two images here and then give them a z index of um, one as we did over here just to init um, get them a default z index so we'll say current active image and next active image so basically what this notation is here we're passing an array to the not saying look at this array any element that's not in that array apply this function the CSS function to that so we're saying get all images in list that are not these two objects in this array objects or elements whatever it is it all means the same so apart from these two any other elements in this list get them a z index of one okay so last but not the least we'll just um prevent the default action of the event all right so let's refresh and then let's make sure that we haven't broken anything on the next so next takes us to the next image so let's try previous previous image so all seems to be working next 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 previous 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 okay so here we go guys here we have it um this is our simple jquery slider so just to demonstrate that we can take this further i mean i know it's very basic but the reason i did it that way is because not everyone is very good at css and javascript and i didn't want to distract them with any any other um any other stuff so i'll just do a simple border radius around this image just to show you that you can customize this do not stop here guys if you think that this doesn't look pretty and i am sure it doesn't take it further go on google search of css and css skills there's lots of them i'm by no means any css expert i mean i can do basic stuff but um i'm sure there's tons out there that 
you can customize this um, little plugin with using so let's um, come to images here and say border radius let's give it a border radius of 5 pixels if we refresh this this image can have border radius so now you see every image here has a border radius so there you go guys our first jQuery plugin so if you guys need me to do anything extra on top of this please comment below on my YouTube um, channel and then um, exactly specify what you need me to do and then I'll take this um, series further and we'll have an even fancier jQuery plugin so thank you guys for watching my um, video and uh, comment below you're welcome thank you bye